In this video, we're going to learn how to find the first occurrence of a character in a string. The first thing we'll do is create a test string. We'll have here car string to create a car array. And in that car array, we'll store the string, a string. Now, what we want to find is the first occurrence of a character in the string. So for example, the first occurrence of the character lowercase i occurs here. Each character in the string is stored at an index in the string car array. So for example, this first uppercase a character is stored at the index zero. Then this space character is stored at the index one. Then this lowercase s character is stored at the index two and so on for each character in the string. Now, if we want to find the first occurrence of a character, let's say the character lowercase n, we could use a loop to help solve this problem. We could use a loop with a counter variable i that's initially going to be set to zero. And what we would do is in the loop body, check to see if the character at the index i, in this case, uppercase a, is equal to the character we're looking for. Now, if we don't find the character that we're looking for, we could continue the loop. And on the next loop iteration, we could increment i by one, and then check the next character in the string. We could continue to do this until we eventually find the character that we're looking for. And then at this point, we could save the index and stop the loop. Let's actually implement this algorithm now. The first thing we'll do is declare an int type variable called index that's going to store the index of the first occurrence of the character. We'll actually initialize index to negative one. So that way, if we reach the end of the string without actually finding the character, negative one is going to be a special value that tells us that we didn't actually find any occurrence of the character in the string. We'll also create a car type variable called character that's going to store the character that we're trying to find. So in our case, it's going to store the character lowercase n. Now we need to know the length of the string in order to implement this algorithm. There's a library called string.h that we can include. And this library has a function called strlen that allows us to find the length of the string. So for example, here, we could declare an int type variable called length, and we could assign it the return value of the strlen function when it's past our string. So the strlen function is going to return the length of the string here in terms of the number of characters in the string, not including the special null terminator character that ends the string. So in our case, this string is going to be eight characters in length. We can use this to help create our loop. So down here, we'll have our loop. We'll have four int i is equal to zero to declare and initialize the counter variable i to zero. Then for the loop condition, we'll have i is less than length because so long as i is less than eight, we want to continue to inspect that character to see if it's equal to the character that we're looking for. Once i reaches eight, at that point, we would want to stop. And then next we'll have i plus plus to increment i by one with each loop iteration now in the loop body, we're going to check the character in the string at the index i to see if it's equal to the character that we're looking for. If it is, we found the character that we're looking for. We can save the current index i by storing it into the index variable. And then we're going to use break here to stop the loop early because once we've found the first occurrence of the character, we can actually stop looking because we're not concerned about additional occurrences of the character so once this loop is done executing, if index is still set to negative one, that means we never found an occurrence of the character in the string because index would never have been updated. So we'll check for that. If index is equal to negative one, that means we never found an occurrence of the character in the string. And here we could output percent %c for the character not found in string followed by a new line and we'll output the character here. Otherwise, if index doesn't equal negative one, that means we found an occurrence of the character in the string, and we can output the index of that occurrence. So here we can have else, and then printf, percent %c for the character, found at index, percent %d for the index, 
followed by a new line, and then we'll output the character and the index. So in our string here, we're looking for the character lowercase n, and that character occurs at the index six. So let's save our program, compile it, and test it out. And we do get that n is found at the index six, which is correct. So if we had more occurrences of the character n, let's say we had a string containing a sentence. In this string, we have multiple occurrences of the character n beyond the first occurrence of the character n, but this won't affect anything because our algorithm stops as soon as it finds the first occurrence of the character with this break statement here. So we could save, compile, and run this version of our program, and we get the same correct answer as before. Now, one thing we could do is put this logic inside a function, and then we could call the function at different points in our source code with different strings and different characters defined as arguments. The function could look like this. We could have int for the return type, and then first occurrence for the function name, where the function is going to return the index of the first occurrence of the character in a string it's going to return negative one if it can't find an occurrence of the character in the string. The first argument could be the string itself, and the second argument could be the character defined. We could supply a definition of this function down here. We'll copy this and paste it down here, and we'll actually cut and paste our logic up here into this function. So we'll take all of this here and paste it into the function. Because it's going to be very similar, what we're going to do is again find the length of the string and again loop over each index in the string until we find the character. Once we find the character, we can actually just return the index i where we found the character using return i because returning is going to stop the loop and the entire function right there. Now, if the for loop ends and we haven't found the character, we could just return negative one in that case to recognize that we never found the character in the string. We could then call this function up here. We could call first occurrence and we can provide it with our string and the character that we want to find as arguments. We'll make sure to declare and initialize the character variable before using it as an argument here. So we can save, compile, and run our program. And again, we get n found at index six. So it appears the function is working correctly. We could have lowercase z here, and that character is not found in the string. If we save, compile, and run the program, now we get z not found in string because our function returned negative one when it couldn't find the character in the string. So this is how we can find the first occurrence of a character in a string using c. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.